So we've now demonstrated that AI or deep learning has the ability to learn almost any modality of data, and it can translate to any modality of data. And so what does that mean? You can go from text to text, right? Summarize a paragraph. You can go from text to text, translate from language to language. You can go from text to images. That's image generation. You can go from images to text. That's captioning. You can even go from amino acid sequences to protein structures. In the future, uh, you'll go from protein to words. What does this protein do? Or um, give me an example of a protein that has these properties, you know, uh, identifying a drug target. Um, and so you could just see that all of these problems are around the corner to be solved. Uh, you can go from words to video. Why can't you go from words to action tokens for a robot? Mm -hmm. You know, from the computer's perspective, how is it any different? And so it, it opened up this universe of opportunities and universe of problems that we can go solve. And um, uh, that, that, that gets us quite excited. It feels like we are on the cusp of this truly enormous change. When I think about the next 10 years, I, unlike the last 10 years, I know we've gone through a lot of change already, but I don't think I can predict anymore how I will be using the technology that is currently being developed. The next 10 years, we're going to have plenty of science of AI, but the next 10 years is going to be the application science of AI. And so the, the applied research, the application side of AI now becomes, how can I apply AI to digital biology? How can I apply AI to climate technology? How can I apply AI to agriculture, to fishery, to robotics, to transportation, um, optimizing logistics? How can I apply AI to, you know, teaching? How do I apply AI to, you know, podcasting, right? And so... I'd love to choose a couple of those to help people see how this fundamental change in computing that we've been talking about is actually going to change their experience of their lives, how they're actually going to use technology that is based on everything we just talked about. 